Welcome back to Open Court. I'm Lisa Bloom. The O'Briens may not have known to what degree, if any, the teens at their home were impaired, but they did know that alcohol was being consumed. Barbara O'Brien admits catching some of the teens drinking beer and gin. One of the underage drinkers was Stephen Bromstrup, who, shortly after leaving the party, crashed into a car carrying the daughter of Tim and Beth Stone. Sarah Stone and another young girl died in the crash. The Stones have brought this civil suit against the O'Briens, claiming the couple's negligence resulted in Sarah's death. And the Stones' attorney, Guy Rubin, is now speaking to the jury, explaining that alcohol was there at the property before Stephen Bromstrup brought his own. Let's listen. What happened? The party was scheduled to last, and this was uh, pretty much planned from the beginning, to go from 5.30 p.m. to 10.30. The evidence will show these kids were 15 and 16 years old at that time. Stephen Bromstrup was one of the kids who was invited. Stephen, sometime around 6 or 6.30, picks up two of his friends in his black Firebird, a very fast car. So they drive to a location where they think that they can get beer. They pool their money together. Danny walks into the convenience store, and he purchases a 12-pack of Milwaukee's Best cans of beer. Pays for it, walks out, gets into debt to Stephen's car, and they go drink a beer. They go to a park, and they sit on a picnic bench, and they drink a beer. These kids are Stephen 16, Matt 16, Danny Downs, the one who, drank, who uh, bought the beer, 15 years old. And they're out on the streets with this beer. They put the beer in the trunk. They each consume one beer. <clears throat> so the best recollection of these people was that Stephen Bromstrup and his two friends with nine beers left in the trunk, in a backpack, arrived at the O'Brien home somewhere between 7.45 and 8.15. It was light but getting dark. We are hearing a fairly long opening statement laying out a lot of the facts that will be presented into evidence. And Stephen DeCastro, let me bring you in because you observed at the very beginning of this that perhaps the better way to proceed would have been to say exactly what the parents should have done rather than going through all of the details of what they did do. You still feel that way? Yes. And, you know, I've done so many trials in 2005 that I could be a sports commentator <laughs> blow by blow critiquing a trial. Uh -huh. And yeah, I can ahead. tell you right now. The attorneys lost the case. Yeah. The reason why is because lawyers don't pra good lawyers don't practice law. They practice the facts. And if you lay out the facts correctly and you emphasize the right points correctly, you will win. Well, maybe now. he doesn't have the facts. You know what they say, if you don't have the law, argue the facts. If you don't have the facts, schmooze. Exactly. Well, if I was him, I would not, I would have kind of skipped over or quickly went over the fact that Bromstrup went to a park before he went to the house mm -hmm. because here, it's, uh, oh, and the other part is he emphasized repeatedly, oh, he went back to the trunk of his car, he got a beer, he went, and then he uh, went and drank it, then uh, when he was finished with that one, he went back to the trunk of his car, emphasizing the fact that Brumstrup brought the beer to the party. He did not obtain beer at the party except for a few sips. Good this point. is really bad. Yeah, and putting that idea in the minds of the jury, Midwin, and the jurors may be thinking, look, the parents did not supply this alcohol. The parents did take some steps. The fact that Stephen Bromstrup, who was the driver, the knuckle-headed kid who floored it when his friend said floor it, who caused this terrible accident, the fact that he brought the alcohol himself to the party and he snuck it. It was in the trunk of his car. Mm -hmm. He's sneaking off and taking the sips when no one's looking, surely that helps the defense. That's right. I mean, and he's right. Cases are won and lost on the facts. And not only did he keep the, you know, the beer in the trunk of his car, but what it does is it also uh, lets everyone know that he wasn't even seen. I believe there were three witnesses who testified that they never saw him drinking anything. So um, by keeping it in the trunk of the car, who knows if Mrs. O'Brien ever saw him with the beer, you know, with him drinking the beer. It was concealed. Mm -hmm. And you know, Stephen, this is the kind of case that makes me want to yank my hair out as a parent because alcohol 
is a deadly poison. It can be a deadly poison, but I don't think we have the same attitude about alcohol that we do about drugs. If this kid was smoking crack on the premises, if he was shooting up heroin on the premises, and the, mother, the mom and dad, or the mom who was the only parent on duty that night said, okay, kids, knock it off, but the party continued, we'd probably have a different attitude about it, yet alcohol overwhelmingly is what causes traffic and, uh, fatalities. One important fact is that parents also, of course, need to set the example. We all know the example of you're telling your kids, stop smoking when you yourself smoke. Oh, wait, so, you're going to fault her for having a glass of wine with her friend? Well, and see, the problem is when you open the door and say, yeah, wine was drunk, now we don't know how much wine was drunk. We don't know Brumstoke came to the party drunk after drinking all that beer in the park. We don't know how right. much uh, drinking went on with uh, Ms. O'Brien and her friend. Yeah, but she's a grown woman. You mean to tell me that as a mother, I can't have a friend over at my own home. We're both adults. We're both, you know, I'll tell you, I'm a little bit over the age of 21. All right. I can't, I can't pour. I know. It's shocking. I know. I can't pour a glass of wine and say, here, you know, sit down, have a glass of wine. Well, I have drank with many O'Briens. And uh, my feeling about it is, yes, I think the, the case could be that, oh, yes, I, I drink. I have a few drinks. But I was still being a good parent.